I don't have very many dream animals. This is definitely one that I've always dreamed about having. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Lori's <laughs> almost crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I didn't get much sleep last night because I got this tattoo, of course, but that's okay because I am so full of energy right now. I am super excited. You know, one of the things that the Reptarium has afforded me is to get a lot of my dream animals. I mean, animals that my entire life I've said, I want to eventually own one of those, but you know, I didn't really have an opportunity to do that. Now that we have the zoo, we can actually do it. And literally, the animal I'm getting today, it was something that when I was like three and four years old, I used to see in books and I'd be like, oh my God, they're so cool. And every time I went to a zoo, I was excited about it. To give you a little bit of an idea, it's gonna go in this pen right here. You'll notice that Speedy is not in here. I had mentioned that we disinfected this whole thing yesterday. Andrew worked her butt off to do it. So the new animal is going in here. By now, you guys probably have a pretty good idea what it's gonna be. Oh my God, I am so excited. We have to drive about three and a half hours to the Cleveland area to go pick it up. It's gonna be absolutely epic. And you may notice that Speedy is now over at BHB. That's right, we had to remove Speedy from the tortoise pen. We disinfected the entire pen yesterday. It's gonna be here just for a short while, then he'll come home and live in the backyard like he always does. But I think he's actually enjoying kind of cruising around. He's been here so many times. Several winters, he spent the whole winter here, so he knows it well. Speedy's doing good, and, uh, and I'll be honest with you, he's a little bit more personal than Savvy is over here. When we worked out the deal to get this new animal that we're about to go get, my buddy Jeff, the one that we worked out the deal with, actually asked me if we could throw in a pair of skinks. So it's a little bit of a trade, partial cash and partial trade. So I'm trying to pick him out a beautiful pair of skinks that we produced last year. Now, skinks are difficult to sex, so I'm gonna do my absolute best to try to get him a pair. It appears that this is actually a female northern that is really beautiful, so I think he's gonna like it. I just have to get a male, and then we can hit the road. And this is definitely a male. Now, what you can do is you can actually avert their hemipenes, just like you will with the snake, but it's a lot more difficult. So we know this is a male because we averted his hemipenes. Now, we don't know if the other one is a female 100% because I couldn't get any hemipenes out, but it looks like it is a female, so I'd say it's 95, 98% chance that it's a pair, so, but that's just part of how we do it. Basically what happens is when they get big enough, we put them together and if they act like a pair, then we know they're a pair. Eventually there will be a test to actually test these guys so that you don't have to try to avert the hemi beans. Regardless, beautiful male, beautiful female, packing them up and hitting the road. It's pretty cool because uh, just saying goodbye to Bella really quick and of course there's the camera over there saying hi to all the people that are watching on the live stream. If you guys aren't watching the 24 hour live stream and Bella, I'll put a link in the description. You can literally watch my girl for 24 hours a day. Again, we're gonna be adding more cams as we go. Lucy for sure, because as she's getting ready to lay eggs, we'll definitely have an egg cam in there. We're gonna do like live hatching cams. We're gonna do even some live Q&A. So anyways, make sure to subscribe to Live Reptile Cam. I'll put a link in the description. As for now, I'm just gonna say goodbye to my girl, Bella. Come on, Bells. When speaking of the webcam, really quick, of course, the 24 hour seven Bella cam, I do need some help with people that really understand like OBS and how to do things. I've got some really cool ideas for YouTube and how we can stream stuff and we can switch camera to camera and all kinds of stuff like that, but I don't really know anything about it. So do me a favor, down in the comments, could you guys help me if you have any idea how to work like an OBS IFTTT, which is if this, then that. This is what I wanna to try to do. Uh, you can also email info at BHB Reptiles and I would appreciate any help because I've got some really cool ideas I want to share with you guys to make this 24 hour live cam super exciting. So again, I am super excited. What's kind of interesting about things lately is that, you know, I'm usually the one that's going out buying tons of animals and Lori's kind of saying, that's a bad idea, Brian, and stuff like that. And lately it's kind of the opposite. The animal we're going to pick up right now, I kind of put the deal together in a way, but I wasn't even sure because as much as I wanted, I was like, gosh, it's kind of a lot of money. Should we do this? And Lori's been kind of like the one going, yeah, we got to do that and stuff like that. So what's changed, Lori? Well, what's changed is, um, A, I'm business-minded, so my choices are made, you know, based on that, not just wanting to have a bunch of animals, and B, I'm not going to lie, this animal, I don't have many that I really, really would want, and this just happens to be something I have always loved and is near and dear to my heart, so I'm not going to lie, this one's kind of going to almost be a personal pet for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's awesome. And I feel the same way. I mean, these things are so cool. I cannot wait to get there, see it for the first time, and actually bring you guys along on the journey. We've got a couple hours left of the drive, so it shouldn't be that long of a day because it's only a three and a half hour drive. Jeff does have a bunch of other really cool reptiles too, so we'll get a chance to see his collection, uh, see this new amazing animal, and then make our trek home. And uh, I cannot wait to see it at the zoo. It's going to be so cool. We made it to Cleveland, my buddy Jeff here. He has a really cool collection of reptiles I can't wait to see. And we get to see our new animal for the first time. You ready, Lori? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. Look at this, this is awesome. Oh my God, so many cool <gasps> Oh Holy my God. cow! Oh my God! It is so much bigger than I was it expected. Is. Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh my. She is so friendly. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What do you think, Lori? I'm in love. I'm so excited. <laughs> Lori's almost crying. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my gosh, I've never seen you so excited. You're crying. <laughs> oh, I'm oh so God. glad. Oh my goodness, she's so cool. Isn't she amazing? Oh, that's, that's funny. oh my gosh, Lori, now you're gonna make me cry. Holy cow, I didn't oh. expect that response. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> I was kind of blown away by how big she was too. I thought she was gonna be smaller. <laughs> so obviously, this is an Aldalbert tortoise, guys. This is like our, one of our dream animals. Uh, Jeff, what's its name? Uh, her name's Muddy. Her name is Muddy? Muddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. She loves mud puddles. Oh. She loves mud puddles. Oh my gosh. Oh. She is. Isn't she oh amazing? Hatched she in 05. Hatched in 05. I got her in 06 as a yearling. She was about oh 500 God. grams. Oh my gosh. She came home in a shoebox. <laughs> she is beautiful. Oh. Oh. Hi, girl. <laughs> She's happy. She's excited yeah. too. Hi, girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that Coco? Oh. Go meet her. <laughs> I'm blown away, man. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. You are so cool. The kids are gonna love Muddy. Oh, Look at Muddy's coming out for pets. Hey, you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good girl. Oh my gosh. She's way cooler than I even expected. <laughs> I didn't expect it either, I'll be honest with you. Now that we got that over and we're super excited, let's go ahead and look at a few other reptiles, starting with this little monkey right here. This is actually a female bearded dragon that just laid eggs. So what a treat that's gonna be to actually take a look. So uh, I'm gonna give you this one back and then let's see what kind of eggs she laid. Look at those. Well, they're definitely fresh, huh? We've got two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Something she like has it. smaller first clutches and then they get bigger as she goes. Last year, her third clutch was 22 eggs. We're gonna start with some of the coral stuff. I've showed you guys the coral snow stuff we're working with, but of course these are the ghost and annery, which is kind of interesting because you still have all of that pink, but of course you have the ghost will be kind of an aneurytheristic hypo, and then of course the aneurytheristic, which is the black corn, which is really cool. It's, these things are beautiful, dude. And they kind of started, I think, with the annery, right? And this then people bred them into with stuff. The annery, exactly, and you've been working with crazy corns forever. I used to buy Buy corns from Jeff like 25 years ago or yeah. something like that. Oh, yeah. You had the vanishing pattern right. stuff. Still yeah. You still have those. Oh my god, that's awesome. I've showed you guys our Tessera corns before. There's actually something that's called a terrazzo corn, and it's got a similar kind of wacky pattern to it, but this is actually the coral terrazzo, and the terrazzos are recessive, right? Correct. Okay, yeah, whereas the Tesseras are co-dominant, but that thing is really cool. Rosy boas are really cool. Something that we worked with years and years ago and haven't worked with in a long time. They have a bunch of different localities. This would be the Mexican variety right here that has that kind of almost like black striping to it. And then these are the Kofa Mountains, which are actually from Arizona. And rosy boas are actually a live bearing snake, but an animal like this, which is basically an adult animal, is gonna have anywhere from like three to five babies. So they have really big babies, but they're a really cool kind of smaller boa. So a lot of times if you're into like the Kenyan sand boas or something like that, but you don't quite like the stuff that's gonna hide, rosy boas can be a great option. Jeff actually works with four different types, right? You said the Mexicans, the Arizona. Arizona. This would be the California, and which, which 
range is this? Uh, the Morongo Valley. The Morongo Valley. Now that is absolutely incredible. And then what's the fourth one you were? The fourth with? one is an albino. The, the albino, water. which is the whitewater albinos. Let's take a look. These are the albino whitewaters right here. Absolutely stunning. I remember when these were first produced. They were crazy. There was the whitewater and there was the Limburg ones. Yep. And uh, they were huge money and people just loved them to death. They're still really cool animals, but now they're a little bit more readily available. But again, you don't see them a whole lot. So I think that uh, I've got to buy some babies from Jeff here pretty soon. This is a really beautiful big walnut python. I mean, just take a look at a great patterning to her. You said she's like 15. Oh my gosh, so you got these when they were so big bucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first ones that we bought, remember we bought them back in Baltimore. We paid $15,000 for a pair of babies right. from Don Hamper. <laughs> yep. And uh, so these are, this is basically, oh, oh looks like she wants She's to. feisty. The one thing about walnut pythons, they have a very, very heavy feed response. So uh, we won't let you get bitten. By the way, Lori, uh, <laughs> what you gonna this is what you're gonna be living. Well that's your job right now. My job? What? I got right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work out so well. That's good. Holy <laughs> mother. Muddy, what are you doing, girl? There's really all kinds of cool stuff down here. He's got a bunch of really cool ball pythons. Uh, again, a lot of colubrid stuff. I mentioned I've been buying corn snakes from Jeff for like 25 years, so it's cool to have a collection like this. Just really eclectic again. Colubrids, got rosy boas, ball pythons, woma pythons. Uh, Obviously the bearded dragon. Uh, there's some Ackies over here I want to go check out. And these guys are like little dwarf monitors. These are Acanthurus right here. And we're definitely going to be getting some of these guys. They are really, really beautiful. These are reds. You can actually get yellows and a few other ones. And this is an adult animal right here. So I think it's going to be really good for some displays over at the Reptarium. Because some of the animals like Toothless are going to get so big we're going to have to get bigger and bigger caging. But these guys can stay in something much smaller. And you can see how they love the heat. I mean, literally, that's probably 120. 130 degrees right there and it's just basking under it right now but what an absolutely amazing little monitor lizard look gosh, guys look at these these of course are pancake tortoises what crazy little dudes and Jeff remember like back when we were kids these guys were like $25 or something right. like that now they're super hard to get super rare and uh, don't they just have like one egg at a two time at the most. two at the most so one or two eggs so obviously they're not a high production animal so the fact that there's a lot of deforestation and a bunch of stuff like that, these guys have become pretty rare. But what crazy little tortoise. It's cool. You've got such a cool eclectic collection. I love this place, dude. Now the interesting part, how to get the tortoise up the stairs and into the back of the vehicle. This ought to be fun. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> she has definitely got some weight to her. And that's it. And that's how you move a tortoise. Let me tell you what, Jeff, she's more than 100 pounds. You told me 100 pounds. <laughs> Glad we're not paying by the pound because she's, she's heavy. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and get her home, get her to the zoo, all right? It's like I was telling Eric this morning, I don't have very many dream animals. And this is definitely one that I've always dreamed about having. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I wish you guys had smell vision because she is going to town back there. Ooh, it's going to be a long three and a half hour drive. It sounds like Noah's at the back. <laughs> it sounds like something was going on back there. It didn't sound very good. I can tell you that much, but it, it uh, smell. <laughs> we stopped like about 20 minutes after we left and this is what's going on. Oh my god, it is so bad and there's nothing I could do. I've actually taken small tortoises into rest areas and washed them off and washed the tub, but there's nothing I could do about this. So we have almost three hours left and it is unbelievable. Oh my god, Muddy, what did you do? 
<laughs> we just got little girl cleaned up. She looks absolutely incredible. She definitely was such a stinky mess. That was the most incredible three and a half hour ride. Oh my gosh. But she's all cleaned up now. Lori's just kind of cleaning up things outside. And then we're going to let her kind of do her thing. Wander around. Get her in her pen. Let her meet the leopard tortoises. Which by the way, I talked to my buddy Kenan at Camp Kenan. He said that the leopard tortoise and these guys should be fine. But we'll see how things go. And, uh, and then we're just going to play it by ear. But oh my god. What an adventure. She is such a cutie. And she's so big. And I think for now, I'm going to let her just kind of crawl around and get acquainted with the place just for the next maybe half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And then we'll go ahead and put her in her pen because a lot of times she's going to actually be out roaming around. So I want her to get familiar with her environment. I think she's going to absolutely love it here. And the kids are going to be like over the moon about it. Look at that animal. Look at how incredible and how big she is compared to things. Oh my gosh. Maybe tomorrow we'll weigh her because I think she's definitely over 100 pounds. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Absolutely incredible. That's a great thing. Lori, what do you think? Is that awesome or what? She liking it? I think she is. She's just <laughs> kind of hanging out, you know, seeing things, kind of exploring. So I think we'll let her crawl around a little bit before we put her back in, right? Yep. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You look beautiful, girl. And by the way, we're thinking about maybe renaming her a little bit. We certainly are going to talk to Jeff and his wife and make sure that they're okay with it. But Muddy isn't one of those names that kind of catches you, right? So you're thinking... I think she looks like a Matilda. <laughs> Matilda would be a great name. So again, we'll run it by Jeff and his wife just to make sure that they're not upset at us for changing her name because obviously for almost 15 years she's been named Muddy. But uh, we just thought Matilda might be actually a great thing. Matilda the tortoise. It just rolls off the tongue, right? So I think she kind of looks like a Matilda too. But again, uh, we'll let you guys know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right, <laughs> time to go ahead and put her in the pen and see how she does for the night. So uh, we'll definitely see how she's got going on. She's happy, you're gonna get a chance to pick her up. You pick her up and I'll, I'll watch you. It's a two person. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I will help. There she is. <laughs> she's got plenty of space in here for the time being. She's doing pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think she's gonna like it. We're gonna definitely keep an eye on her and the other tortoises for a little while, make sure that she's okay, but she seems to have found a corner. <laughs> the vapor bulb is right there with the heat lamp and UV and stuff like that, so I'll keep an eye on her for a little bit and uh, I think she's gonna settle in just fine. Well, there it is, guys. They seem to be settling in good. Again, I'll keep an eye on them a little bit here, but for the last hour or so, they've been completely fine. Even the little tortoises went up and kind of sniffed around. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. In all the years I've been keeping animals with Lori, which is about 30 years, I have never once seen her cry when we're getting an animal, not even her puppy. So that was absolutely crazy. I just am so happy that she was so passionate about it. What an amazing thing. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.